All right, I am back ish. Thank you. Philanus, it should be in the top right corner of the screen. Wow, I can spell tonight too. See if I can Let's see, I have it fifty percent capacity background. Maybe I should Maybe that'll pop it out a little bit better. Alright. What else was I gonna do? Let me drop that stuff in the bank. Yeah, sure. Everybody's been at the top of the list tonight. Let's see. And you are Yeah, did I label the wrong one? No, I didn't. Barra is tech mechanic. Got it. Well, come on, how can I move? Thank you. Do a little bit quick inventory management. Uh, not too long, but I do have a couple things to do. I really need to drag some stuff into my bar here so that I have it available. 
That's why I had this extra bar over here. Just for this stuff. No, don't need that. Don't need that. I think that's all of it. Okay. It's better for quick switching. keep those here, but that I can probably move on, although I'd love to have that. I don't feel like having a negative level one all the time, though. Eh. I've seen quite a few tomes um, drop from higher level quests sometimes among end rewards for doing certain chains and um, what are they called? Sagas. So they can be pretty common. Um, problem is the tomes are mostly the uh, upgrades. So you have to start with a plus one and then go plus two upgrade, plus three upgrade, plus four upgrade kind of thing. You can't just go straight very much anymore. So that's something to keep in mind with the tomes. Okay, that looks good there. Um, maybe I will do that. What will that give me if I on a sorcerer? Nothing. I guess greater heroism is the only one that really kills me. I guess I should probably equip these. Actually, do that. I could go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, those would be great. Oh, my sorcerer. Hmm. Uh, there's lots of different kinds of crafting. Take your pick. Um, Kenneth crafting is pretty much tops level 20. Um, it can be useful for low levels and to fill in some gear spots at mid levels. Basically, just keep all your um, essences that you get, and then when there's a bonus weekend, so th the real thing to do about it to get levels in Cane of the Crafting is to every item that you would normally just vendor go deconstruct it. That will build up your uh... oh wow why was I here last? That will build up your essences because you need a lot of essences to level up your Cane of the Crafting. So anything you would normally sell, go to the thing and deconstruct instead. That means if you play multiple characters, pass them all to your shared bank, or however you do things like that, to your crafter. Concentrate on one character and get your crafting levels up that way. Um, deconstructing and then constructing whatever shard gives you the most XP with 
all of the XP bonus potions and everything you can running. Yeah. So here's my crafting on my crafter at 928788. You can see I've done, deconstructed 2900 items. I've crafted 404 shards and gotten about 78k in crafting XP. Um, you just need a ton of stuff. It helps if you buy a big green bag from the store. The Colossal is the best, of course, because it's the biggest, but whatever you can get um, as far as a big bag, because you'll need to store lots of stacks of lots of different stuff for crafting. And it's not necessary, and most servers have someone if you search in the forums, there's someone who will craft stuff for you if you just give them the materials. So you don't really need to do it yourself. But if you want to... You can do that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I forgot about that one. The more you construct one specific shard, the bigger your penalty is for constructing that shard. So if you TR, then you can reset all those, which is a really good idea. If another boost come, weekend comes up or something. Oh, this is always in the way. All right, daily roll, daily roll, daily roll. Speaking of tomes, <laughs> I just got a plus one dex tome from my daily roll. Which I don't... Uh, I might have somebody who can use that. I don't know. Let's look. Let's see what I have. Oh, gosh. Where is my stuff? Hey, I can actually use a plus one dex on this character. And this is bound anyway, so I might as well just use it. There we go. That's a nice little bonus. Hey, put me over a rank. Divine power. I think, as I understand it, you can't go above level 20 in the crafted stuff, it just it's still level 20. There's no epic crafting like that yet. It's one of those things that doesn't work. But that's why I was going to follow up with Skunk. That doesn't mean that the stuff's not useless. It's just that the, it isn't that level. Alright. Let's see where this fits in with my... Ah! Alright, this is a lesser, minor, greater, greater, excellent, major, soft. I'm going to go ahead and use this as well. I'm tired of these plus one tomes that are bound to account clocking up my bank slots. If I could sell it, that'd be different. But. Alright, so... 
think this goes here. Yep. Check out what I have. group with this character. Devil Salt Elite, Acid Wit, I can be an e. Yeah, but you know, I think I'm going to go overhead and go. Leader of the TV engine guy in a banana costume running some race. See what we can do here. Something trappy would be good. Wow. I've got some holes. Ah, what the heck? I'll do Butcher's Path just to have something. I think yes it's an empty stiletto ah ghost touch deception at a man See what happens. Need to test out some new gear anyway. I'm doing butchers. I want to go to. Slacker has it going. to find a party to do some traps with my rogue, but I haven't seen any of my level, so we'll just see how this goes. I suppose I should search out since I have that ability. I wasn't really planning on streaming tonight, but uh, with the game having been down 
well, most of the day, morning, in the afternoon, and I was watching the uh, Dio stream with Cordovan, and then game still wasn't up. Skunk requested a thing, uh, Rollers of the Realms, so I did that, and then it's like, yeah, you know what, might as well stream and play some DDO, and when DDO came back up, so. Uh, I don't think I have 17. Let me think here. Actually, I don't, maybe my bard is 17. I think it's 16, though. I think I have a 16 cleric. I will check in a bit here. Let's see what I've got. I forgot to vent on my blades. It would probably help a bit. Yeah, I'll check after this quest and see what I got. Hey, Seth Oz. How's it going? Open fighting is so odd compared to my usual two handed fighting. Yep. So if you eat a plus one tome, you can eat a plus one, a plus two upgrade tome. And if you have a plus two, plus two tome, you can eat a plus two, plus three upgrade tome. No, it, you eat them.
Yes. The augment slots today, as does the curse. If it's cursed. So those are very good crafting items if you get cursed with two augment slots. I think you keep in mind is the augment slots to make the minimum level of the item. But it's great for combining a bunch of stuff on one item. So you'll, there's stuff, you'll get random gen items that have curses on them, like Curse of Dullness, it's minus one to your intelligence when you wear the item, kind of stuff. The reason like, that they're good is because that also, is, that also lowers the minimum level of the item. So if you have something with two augment slots, the minimum level will be raised, but if it's cursed, then the minimum will be lowered and it kind of balances it out. So it's actually a good thing to have. The Lana's Mimic Frenzy just ended, according to uh, chat. I think it's cursed to my inventory at the moment, so I can't show you. I do I was gonna look see what I have in the seventeen range. So 
So I've got two 16s and a 17. That's my static group character, so I don't use it for leveling outside of the static group. Let's see. Actually, I want the, I love my bard the most. Oh, actually, I'll show you here. Let's go to the auction house real quick. Let's go, Joey. Hey, go ahead and invite me to party if you want. So, for example, here's one. It has the Curse of Clumsiness. So it's negative one penalty to dexterity. Plus it has Maxwell Craftsmanship, which also lowers the uh, minimum level for what it has on it. And this one has Curse of Dullness, Curse of Foolish, Repulsiveness, Clumsiness, weakness. Frailty, here's one. So if you took this ring, it has the curse of frailty, deadly two, resistance four, and empty colorless slot. If you did the uh, whatever the crafting thing is where you strip the item of all its stuff, the curse of frailty and the empty colorless slot would stay. Deadly and resistance would be gone. Then you can build it up to what you want, and you'll have a slot there you can put something in, and your curse makes it an one lower the minimum level would be one lower than it normally would be and then you can apply a masterful craftsmanship and drop it that way so yeah that's how that works in crafting all right so what do you want to run See, these are levels where I'm not really familiar with uh, stuff. Yeah. And these are levels I just don't. You're in the marketplace, so I'll go there first so we can. Let's see. I would like to do that, but it's done. No. We can do Slayers in the Veil. It's always an option. Uh, let's see. Hey, Melodius, how's it going? Uh, did, are you 17? I'm trying to find one that's relatively simple to do. Uh, it'll still give us XP. Uh, 
Just a minute, I'll be right back. Yeah, I want to save those for when I get to epics and get the first time bonuses on the epic. There's a couple things I want to do to get first time bonuses on epic. Ah, let's see if we can survive diplomatic community. Why not? That is a question too. Do you have all the packs for VIP? All that stuff. Oh, look, a rainbow. Yay. Um, yeah, the first time bonuses on quests that are both heroic and epic, you want to try to save those probably for epic. Good. So that uh, you get a lot more XP that way. It only applies to those that are both. Uh, where am I going? There I am. Oh, is this this one's in the twelve. Oh, I remember which one this one is. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. All right. That's right. Let me get back to the party over here. There we go. Yeah, a lot of people take breaks from the game. I, I have taken several. Um, I'm currently in my longest streak of playing, I think, ever. I started around free to play and was kind of eh about it. Stopped playing for a bit, came back, got more into it. I don't know if I left again there or not. And then Cove happened and I burned myself out playing Cove over and over and over and over and over and over and over again to get gear. And then I think I came back a little bit and didn't play for almost two years and then came back and, uh, yeah. So I've been back for just about a year now, I think, maybe a little bit over. <clears throat> And uh, yeah, I'm enjoying playing. I finally got my first character up in Epics and all that stuff. Awesome. Card nine. Good job. Good good luck. <clears throat> yeah, it seems like everybody has something that burns them out. And you have a pumpkin head. Nice. Uh, all right. We'll see how this goes. <clears throat> All right, what do we have? Got this. I've got this. This. Nope, I've got that. That. And that. And this. 
this. I cast myself myself. I want that. And that. And then this. We should be ready to go. <clears throat> Yep. That is the best thing about this game is the whole flexibility of character building and playing with different builds and enhancements and destiny. destinies and all that. Just a lot of fun. Of course, once you've gotten into it, it can be a little rough to get into the first time. Oops, I only came that way. I want to go this way. And I don't remember where I'm going in this quest, so we'll just have to fumble around. Oh, that's the quick thing. If you can get the other way, that's the quick way to get back. Okay. I remember parts of the quest. I have done it before. I hear more scorpions. Yeah, it is a fun game if you like that aspect of it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so enjoys playing with me on our Thursday night, sometimes other times, but does isn't really a fan of the whole complex character building thing, so I end up building their characters too, instead of just mine. Is this one of those things you can't break? No, you can't break this one, okay. Through the brush ahead. You hear a guttural voice. Yeah, I'm a full bard, so I run pretty fast. Just by normal speed, let alone when I'm hasted. We're expediting my retreat. Placement we're off, so we read this place. Alright. That's why I keep uh, both displacement and blur on, so that when displacement wears off, I still have blur. Yep. And it can be nice, you know, being the expert of your group of people, but it's also it can get tiring. It's like, I don't know. I've never done one of those. I guess it's been playing a bard. I've never done a bard before. I don't know from bard. But uh, I have to answer all the questions about it as if I did. Hold on a second. Let me rehaste this. Yep, so every time we take level, I have to spend a couple minutes doing mine, and then I, we have our, the laptops we play on on a coffee table, both of them. So the coffee table gets slid over, and I get to take a look at their character and try to figure out their stuff, too. And then Druid has a pet, it's so got to figure out the pet stuff, which, again, I had never done before until I started playing Artie. So... Yeah. <laughs> I do want to play a uh, what's my chair? Druid at some point. I want to do the Count of Monte Cristo build in the forums on this character. Um, this is just sort of 
a whatever build. Um, I actually respect it into a swashbuckler, but just at a casual glance kind of thing. So this character was initially created as a Hagglebot bank character, and uh, then turned into my crafter as well, and I occasionally leveled it. But uh, now I'm really starting to think I'm going to play this a little bit more because of the swashbuckler thing. It's a lot more fun. <laughs> Dancing dire bears, yeah. The uh, emotes like dance when a druid's in bear form is hilarious. Those are hilarious. We found all sorts of fun things with the bear form of a druid. As the salty tang in the air grows stronger, you notice a bamboo bridge crossing the ravine. Perhaps it leads back towards Henrita's camp. Yeah, this is where we need to go. This is the outlook. Do you see the army? This is one of the neat views in the game. But it is possible they have arrived for legitimate You must warn Henrita of the danger to Storm Look at the occasional champions. I haven't been here since the champion passed. That's awesome. You can see the occasional champions and amongst the rest of the troops. That's just a cool view. I this is one of the neat parts of the entire game, I think. No. Anymore, everybody self heals. That's the big thing now, is everybody's supposed to be uh, self sufficient and self healing. However, whatever form that takes. Heal bots are few and far between. Wow. Oh, I don't have displace on. That's one thing that's wrong. Yeah, another thing is wrong. We have a caster that's healing this guy. It's not good. Yeah, can you uh, take the caster out? Wow. Having a hard time. There we go. That should make it a little easier. Not to say I still might not die, but is difficult to stay alive. The weapons of these dead creatures matches the ones on the beach. Clearly this was a scouting party and their hostile reaction to your presence. So yeah, whether you UMD it, you use a lot of potions, um, you have abilities, whatever it is, everybody is supposed to be self-sufficient. Armor class 35, saves are 22, 40 and 26. Take that caster out first thing. I suppose I could try to dance him, but... Wow, that hurt. Oh, a champion caster, this is not going to go well. Oh, you got him. Maybe this will be okay after all. If you got the aggro, then I can come in. There we go. Like I said, I want to get, I want to be a slightly better build than I currently am. Ah, wasted that. Need to go back and get that. Uh, what do we have? Uh, how far back was that shrine? Now ah, we're about halfway to the shrine. Actually, hold on a second. There was another route up here we can take to get that shortcut. Let's try the shortcut. Let's try the shortcut. Yeah, there, it's pretty tight expectations anymore. Okay. We've got some more wild men that hopefully won't be as hard to deal with back here. Um, yeah. No one waits for a cleric in a raid anymore. Um, yeah, there's some changes if you haven't played for a while.
Well, that's all. Let me haste us and uh, song us. All right, well, just one song then. Well, good hope we're off. Good hope it's not supposed to wear off like that. There's one overriding the other. Maybe it is. Stands several yards off, guarded by a solitary vine thrasher wild man. With any luck, uh, I think I have diplomacy. Patriots. Diplomacy 28 or 28 17. Let's go diplomacy. Yay. Yeah, um. It's really a bunch of soloers anymore. Um, groups are basically just to get uh, things done faster for zerging through quests and XP and then some raids. That's the first time I've actually gotten that. Where's the... It's over this way. <clears throat> that is the first time I've been able to do that. That's awesome. You save so much time fighting all those other guys on your way back. That's pretty awesome. And back up to the start. I guess we could have detoured too. I forgot about detour. Um, this way. Yeah, grouping is seen as a not necessity for most people anymore. All right, now we go back and do the next part. Is there any faster way to get back there this time? I really don't know. That's the way, let's see. That would take us back. Yeah, let's see. Go back here and go the other way where that uh, thing was. We couldn't get past before. Oh, haste wore off. Somewhere there was another offshoot. There it is. No. Oh, everybody has to be there for it. That's what it is. Oh, watch out. Ambush. Yeah, it seems like most people solo anymore. Um, which is great if you're built for it. But especially originally, this was really just a haggle bot. That's what I was saying before. I remember what happened, but I forgot to finish my statement. But um, this was built as a haggle bot and bank character. And really that's all it was. Just haggling and banking. So I did things like take the feats for improving my haggle and you know it really wasn't meant to be played. I still managed to level some what here and there. 
but uh, since I was really low on funds, I wanted to have a character that did the haggle to get all the uh, extra stuff. Oh, I am almost out of spell points, so... Buffs now are going to be at minimum, unless there's a shrine here, which I would hope there would be at the end, but there may not be. So this character is much more survivable, and it fights a little bit better than it used to. It's still not great. So that's why I want to follow that build and get it really to the point where it can survive a lot better. Yeah, I have aggro and I don't want it. What do I have? Oh, that's not what I wanted, but okay. I know I have something here. What's it called? Oh, diplomacy. That's what I have. I also have bluff. So I could be trying to bluff these guys down. Uh, I think heavier better all the time, as I remember right. For my arty, um, I love playing my arty. It's just a blast to play an arty. Um, at least at first. After a while, it gets kind of tough, but those first couple are awesome. The war captain wishes to parlay with the intruders. That's not the war captain. Uh, I am out of. Hold on a second, let me heal up. <laughs> Burn some potions here. Um, yeah. Artie is awesome. Um, I believe you're looking more for effects, but most of the time um, a heavy will be better, if I remember right, because the damage is higher. And there's no reason not to have more damage. There are traps here somewhere, so don't go out of this top area once this battle starts. It's a pretty big battle, too. So... <clears throat> Here, let me song this up. I don't believe so. I believe you just go for the more, most damage or the effects that you want. Get kill his guards first, okay. I will never do that without dying, but you know, negative levels are already hitting. That can make it difficult. That guard. Oh, I don't have to, that's just optional. The way this is going, I'd say don't worry about it. Just take him down. Come on, almost there, almost there, get him! Yes! We survived. That was close. <laughs> that was really close. We might want to heal up just in case of mimics. Yeah, I'm used to playing my other characters that are a lot uh, less squishy than this. I kind of figured if we were going to do out level elites that it would just kill us, so we're doing a little below level. Oh, Mimic. I was afraid of that. Ah, 
Alright. Got some loot. That's safe. And... Oh, cool. I got the what ring that I wanted. That's awesome. Um, wand of blasting. What was that for? Yeah, might as well. Thanks. Oh, another one. <laughs> Oh, they're exclusive. I can only have one. You might as well take it unless you already have one. I can't have two. All right. Well, that was fun. Definitely, definitely, definitely could have used a uh, thought the guy for this was in Lord's March. Yeah, he is. Why is it telling us to go there if it's in Lord's March? That's odd. Because this is Lord's March over here. Yeah. Just a little hug. I'd bring my Mimic pet out, but... Alright, you can go that way too. I just think it's easier to go directly to Lord's March. I don't think I'm actually going to need any of this stuff. I think I'm pretty good out, except that I could really use some, uh, what's his name? Resonance, some sonic spell power. Ah, framework. That's okay. Um, if you go back to 12, Go past the caravan, you can go that way. Um, there is an exit to Lord's March from the marketplace, you can go that way. Um, just follow the thing for that quest, turn in, and you'll be fine. It should be showing you where to go. Oh. I already turned it in, so it's the next one, so you have to get the other person first. You want uh, this person here, I think. Did you talk to them yet? And then she tells you to go talk to somebody else, which I believe is this person. Gavin. Yeah, that sounds right. Talk to Gavin. So I definitely want to keep that, because that's the... Uh, Catcher's Wit, Diplomacy and Charisma item. It's part of the Wrath of Cosoric Hell set. Well, I have so... Do I really have that many, or do I not have my collectible? Hold on a second. Let me check my bags. No, it's an auto-gather. And is this one as well an auto-gather? Yes. All right. I said, this is my bank character, so I have all the bags and hireling folders and cookie jars and such. All right, you ready for this one? Yeah, usually not VIP, but the uh, three-month free deal was too good to pass up, so I went ahead and did it. Because, you know, why not at that point? You can delete it. Yeah, I did. 
So this one's fun. Lots of minotaurs. Back to this, do a little good hope. Get my stuff on here. And then we're gonna be ready to go. Alright. Oh, that hurts, doesn't it? Yeah, this is. I missed the deal last year. Um, I didn't do it. If you find more spare parts, this ballista can definitely be repaired, and perhaps even jewelry. And uh, is a so, just as a trial, I did the three-month deal, and uh, ended up forgetting to cancel before it renewed. So, I ended up spending a lot more money than I expected to on that. So I really should have just got the 15-month uh, deal and uh, would still be having VIP now, but I didn't, so. And I uh, have purchased all the packs. I've purchased a lot of shared bank space and platinum upgrades and whatnot. So, yeah. Some of the characters, classes, and stuff. And of course, Men of Standard Arc and Shadowfell. So, yeah. I spend a lot of money on this game, is what I'm saying. I don't like paying monthly, um, is the main reason. Because, as I said, I've, I'm prone to quitting games for a year or two at times, and it doesn't make sense to be paying during that whole time I'm not playing, right? So that's one reason. Another reason is I started with free to play because I have this thing where I don't think it makes sense to both buy a game and um, pay monthly. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So I didn't start playing until I went free to play because I didn't want to buy the game and then have to pay monthly. And free to play and free to download solved all that. So. I'll probably be using that shrine. I anticipate using that shrine. Yeah, I don't even want to think about how much I spent on this game with all the stuff I bought. But, you know, that means at any time if I VIP runs out, and, uh, if, for example, right now, I'm jobless. I uh, lost my job at the beginning of February. Um... I'm still on Severance, which is the only reason I went ahead and did the VIP deal. Because I've been playing this a lot, I've been trying to play it on this channel and try to get this channel growing to the point where maybe I'll make some of that money back. Not anticipating it will be anytime soon, mind you, but it'd be nice to at some point make some money back um, by streaming. And uh, I like some of the benefits, and I really want to see the game continue. So, you know, combined a couple things. Oh, Mimic. I went ahead and figured, yeah, I'm going to do this. And uh, get the XP benefits, get the... Because, you know, Temple and Monuments coming out, Warlock's coming out, who knows what other adventure packs coming out in the next year. And I never did get to play the new Delirium yet. Um, I still haven't done that. Um, because I buy the packs on sale to try to save points so I don't spend more than I already have on them. And plus, you know, I get points from it too. That was the other fun thing. I still get points, so monthly, that I can spend on whatever. So even when I come off the IP, then I can buy stuff that way if I want to. But it also made sense that, you know, I'm getting points every month so I can get stuff uh, even though I don't have a job because I've already paid for it. So, you know, all that stuff combined made it seem like, you know, let's do this. I haven't even 
check. Yeah, we're getting some decent experience off of this. I just love seeing the champion crowns when they're otherwise invisible. It's hilarious. Alright. A little bit of displacements. Yeah. I've managed not to spend money on tomes yet, so... I think what I would consider doing is if I did finally get a full set of plus five tomes through favor and mimic event, a bar or whatever, that daily rolls. I've had several people I know pull plus six tomes out of their gold weekly rolls. Um, if I get a full set of plus fives, maybe use the plus five, plus six, use my points on plus five, plus six upgrade for my primary character. Because that would be kind of cool to have all plus six tomes. I've already been here, haven't I? Or have we? I know. Do we have enough to repair? What's your repair skill? Uh, yes. In fact, I can show you a way to get the keys really easily if you don't know. It requires having an officer on a guild airship. But, uh, if you have an airship with the uh, Three Finger Thads, you can get some basic clickies really easily. You can get Expedition Retreat, Shield, Jump, Remove Fear. Um, there's also some other ones. Those are the ones I want to get the most, because... Any character can use those. It'd be uh, good. They may not be the best clickies, but hey, it's nice to have clickies for some of that stuff. Shield or Night Shield is really handy when you have uh, casters lobbing magic missiles at you. It's nice to have that. Anyway, let me. I was gonna check out my repair skill. Hold on a second. I have a 12 repair skill. So I don't know if I'll be the choice to do that or not. Oh, we got separated. And I didn't notice. That's awesome. I should not be fighting champion anything by myself. There you are. Okay, we should be good now. Looks like you have deception. Um, if you go into Three Finger Thads and you look at Thad, who's the normal guy, look to his left and that person to the left of him, they have clickies. Sometimes. So the thing that happens is those clickies are random, and they're random each time your airship instance loads, or Whoa, displacement just wore off in the middle of that. That's not good. Um, if you place a different amenity there, it kind of clears it. So you can place a different amenity there and then replace the uh, three finger thads. And you'll get a different selection of stuff there that's random. And if you do that enough, you'll get a full set of cookies for whatever you need, basically. I've heard that Invisibility clickies may drop there, but I haven't seen them. Um, conventional wisdom for invisibility clickies is, I think, Sands? I don't remember where in Sands. Oh, it's a turn in for the uh, things in Sands, the ancient tokens or whatever, I think. That's what people were saying. I am going to go down here and get this ballista parts. We have one more ballista part to get to get the optional. We do not want to go in that front gate. Um, okay, we're kind of back to the beginning. So, where have we not been? Do you care about that option or you just want to get into the thing? I 
I refuse to do this quest by any other way than by ballisting into the middle of the thing. Because it's just so much fun. We Yes. That is how the new vendors work. Doesn't play anything in the cargo hold, but all the new style stuff you have it once you've bought it. And you can swap it in and out as you need. Um, which is pretty handy, I must say. Of course, some of the old stuff is better in some ways, so keep that in mind as well. Oh, you need to die. You are a caster and you need to die. I love the descriptions on the optionals on this quest for killing minotaurs. So yeah, sometime tonight I can show you that, um, how that works, and um, Barra, I can, uh, or stack, stack mechanic, I can uh, invite you to the ship and show you, and then if I find any, I can pass them over to you, because it's very little effort to get those. Very little effort. Eh, let's go this way, whatever. I always forget how this, how you're supposed to do this quest and just end up wandering around. That's, I would love to have the biggest ship. Our guild doesn't have it. I think we have the first or second level Astro Sarge ship of the new style. I don't remember. I think it's the second level one. And I would love to have the big one. Although, I really don't like the bigger one in that it is actually bigger physically. So when you're running from the spawn point on the ship up to the bridge to do uh, get somewhere, it actually takes longer on a bigger ship. I just want to kill this guy up here. I don't know how to get up there, but I just want to kill him. And we, I have seen, I think, one or two amenities drop. Not for me, but guildmates have had amenities drop before, so you can get some of those uh, Astro Shard amenities from the uh, from just questing, which is nice. I think he got like the first level bank or something like that. Mm. This is not going well. That's not what I wanted. It worked, but it wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> Kill them all. Yeah, I think we're just at the right level where this isn't a true cakewalk. We still have to be careful, for, especially for champions here and there. But, uh... Hey, Erlok, how's it going? Didn't see you join. Or did you just join? There is a way to unlock the gate somehow. I don't remember where the thing is, but we can do that at some point. There's a nice shrine. The sound of a warning bell echoes down the streets. More minotaurs pile out of the nearby buildings to see what's going on. By the way, if anybody I'm not pronouncing your name correctly, that's you know. Feel free to say something about how you'd rather it be pronounced. I'm cool with that. <laughs> uh, I've got Urlock and Skunk in here. What more do we need, right? Uh, let's see. Looks like I cleared out this area. On to the next. Ah, oh, here's some guys we haven't killed yet. Hello, guys, we haven't killed yet. Let's remedy that. Oh, there's a collectible up here I want to get real quick. Then we can come down and kill those people. The um, breakable bonus here is ridiculously annoying to get because there's a lot of nooks and crannies with stuff. So, yeah. Ah. OK. 
casters, yay. And if haste wears out and I don't notice, let me know that as well. Let me haste us again. <laughs> All the Kyber bad butts here. Bad donkeys. Oh, and something those people who've come back to the game recently should know is that the uh, bonus for getting all the traps is now 30%. So it is worth getting all the traps if you have a trapper available on most quests, or most of the, especially the higher XP quests. Um, it's worth getting all those traps, or enough to get the 30% bonus at least. Slay, you guessed it, more Minotaurs. Just such an amusing little bit. I uh, should ask Cordovan who did this quest. Who put that much humor in this particular quest? It's a lot of fun. Yeah, hey, slay those guys. Back to the more Minotaur slay. I want to slay more Minotaurs. You weren't quite dead yet, how dare you? Hey, look, there's an optional down here. Isn't there? There's an optional for that chest. Or is that one just locked? I guess it's just locked. Oh well. I have considered going to Rogue on this bard just to get some trapping. Time for heal and displace. And, oh, hey, look, two negative levels instantly. That's not fun. Oh, yeah, he's dead real quick. Slaughter of Minotaurs must go on. It must. To be... Yep, now we can open the chest. If you care about loot at all. You can jump the uh, things, I think, if you want to do that. Oh look, they're following you, including another red name. Huh, leashed. Hopefully this guy before he leashed. Saw somebody else join, but I can't read the name at the moment. I might pop, maybe pop, something like that, maybe. We're gonna want to kill that guy fairly quickly. Uh, and a mimic, nice. Do we know all that? There was a mimic. Ah, get up there. All right. 
and complete crap in that chest. That was not really worth it. Displacement wore out again. I probably need a haste again. That was where I wanted to displace. Over there, we haven't killed yet. Here's a guy we haven't killed yet. Oh, this guy's gonna ring a bell. Unless I kill him first, which I am not gonna do. Oh well. We want to kill more minotaurs anyway. Alright. More the better. So let them ring their bells. Summon more guys. Hey, look, more ballista parts. Oh, that's right, I forgot about that. I think I missed it. Darn it. So I was kickstarting for a while. Don't start, kids. Kickstarter is dangerous. It's kind of like playing DDO. Once you start, and you end up spending all this money on stuff. But uh, I got a desktop ballista. It's actually a scorpion, but you know, close enough. And they then, uh, like a year later, they put up a one for a trebuchet. Which is so much. Oh, I want that so much. Because those are so cool. But I never did finish this, putting the scorpion together, so my SO told me in no uncertain terms that, you know, I still hadn't put my scorpion together the rest of the way, so why should I get a blista if I haven't done that? Which, you know, logic I can sort of agree with, but still I want it. But, you know, no job thing and all that. Hopefully they'll be more available after the Kickstarter is over, because I would really like one. Scorpion can fire toothpicks into styrofoam. It's pretty neat. You can fire. I can't remember the range on it, but it was pretty decent range for being a little desktop thingy. Thanks for the trebuchet, he was doing marbles and they were going quite a ways. Hey, legendary victory, that's good. 3500 guild round? I will take that. Your gifts are acceptable, says the Minotaur. Oh, yeah, there are traps there. But they will not be enough to hire my people as mercenaries. War is I would kind of like to shrine. I don't know about you. Okay, that's the end fight there. You misunderstand. Uh, shrine is back a ways, though. What we are looking for is a wise governor for the annexed city of Stormreach. With the plunder... Oh, <laughs> I mean taxes cover your costs. Oh yeah, if you haven't played for a while. Also, guild name, guildy, guilds can go up to level 200 now. And uh, right now it doesn't decay, decay unless you're above level 150. Yeah. So stuff to keep in mind. Some of the uh, changes. Let's see. You want that and that. That. Well, and things have really changed. There were no guilds at all. Um, well, good hope, both of us. And yeah, and then the guild, the way the airship buffs have changed is interesting. So we want to go back this way. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, um, it can really be worth having a guild. Just for the uh, buffs, if nothing else. I love my guild. Um, it's a really small guild. Most people are uh, in the UK. I think we have one guy from Sweden, one guy from Kentucky, myself in the SO, and the rest of them are in the UK, although one of them is currently in Asia somewhere. I don't remember exactly where. The chieftain bellows. Intruders! Slay them all! Let me see if I can actually do this. Yay, it's working. Take advantage of this to kill the trash if we can. While they're otherwise occupied. Wow, I was not paying attention. Dang. Wow. He did something. Oh, destruction. That's what he did. Did I not have death block on? I thought I had death block on. So yeah, it's all you. Unless you want to pick my stone up and run back to the shrine. You seem to be doing okay with the dozen or so guys that are attacking you. Keep those lay on hands or heels up. The sound of a warning bell echoes down the streets. More minutes nope. pile out of the nearby buildings to see what's going on. Well, that didn't go well. We we're just fine up until that uh, last bit. I have no cakes. <laughs> yeah, they can uh, they can be tough. Rolling one. Well, you want to do that and head back to the shrine and get me back up and then we'll try it again? Or there's also another shrine we can use if we need to get spell points back. It's outside, but we can still use it. We have a couple options, depending on what you want to do. I don't mind either way. My stone's over here, though. Oh, cool. You got raised dead. Now if I can just get out of here. I want to get out of the line of... Oh, man. Uh, some guys respawned. That's also not going to be fun. All right, where are you? Let's see if we can get you some blur and some haste. Get me! Wow, they're all about you. Um, no, back to me. I need stuff if I'm gonna survive. Yeah, and there's a couple of champions in there too, which is going to be the real fun. Come on, die, die, die. Yes. One champion down. They seem to have lost track of you, whatever you did. Ah, uh, you went across the bridge. Wow, he hits hard. Come on, come on, come on. Got him. Alright. That's a little better. Uh, did I forget to give you heroism? I think I might have. And you need healing. Alright, 
That should put us back on track. I hope. Oh, he is a champion as well. All right. Do you want to go use the other shrine? You just want me to heal you. Yeah, evasion does help a lot. I must say. Where are we going? Maybe going this. Oh, here's another. He dropped something. Something dropped out. It's an emerald over there. Of course, I pick a fight with the champion. All right. Be that much left to go up here. Really, we can kite them out a bit and not have to deal with a lot of them at once. It shouldn't be too bad. I can hear those casters going in there though. Unless I can stay down here. Let me see if I can get you. I saw haste run out, but I'm out of spell points. Oh, you know what I forgot to do this entire time? Is uh, the whole thing where you're supposed to... We were supposed to kill those guys. We were supposed to use that wand that I completely forgot I had. I completely forgot the purpose of the quest. I got another piece of the Sorkel set. I think awesome. That's two pieces of the Sorkel set. There it is. So I don't know that we're going to be able to complete this. We're supposed to use... Did I get the wand or did you get the wand? Uh, is that considered a thing? It's a wand of uh, flesh to stone, I think. Yeah, I completely forgot about it. One of blasting. Roderick's wand. Problem is, I have so much stuff in here. Because I have all the inventory slots. Oh, yeah, there we go. Dropped when I died. So you have it now? <clears throat> ah, trade window. Okay. So, oops. This wand right here, I need to map to something. What we're supposed to do is use that on some of the minotaurs. So that's why they keep respawning so that you can do that. So like this guy over here, let's see if it'll work. Uh, 11, no, it's 12. No, no. Yeah, we're supposed to do that. So that, uh, no.
we're framing somebody for something. I don't remember what it is, the details, but that's the basic gist of it. You missed your jump. That's okay. You can take the ballista out too. There's the other ballista parts. So what you're really supposed to do is... Uh, where the beginning is here. Yeah, doors. You know, hold on a second. We're going to take these away. Oh, we can't because I don't have any. Okay, let's go to the shrine. That seems like a great plan. Go to the shrine to rest so that I can get the door so we can go back to Doris and uh, finish the quest. I think we have everything done except for, uh, here we go, D-Door. Woot. Why is that hard to follow me? Yay. 12k, not bad. Yeah. If it's only 10 seconds, I'm actually doing good. Doris hmm. is impressed. She offers more, more chests, possible mimics, for the way you've completed the mission. and some other annoying things happening. What? I don't know what that was. Okay, that's good. I, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to attack. Mimic. I can't attack at the moment. Oh, don't let it drop in the water. Get back here. Stupid mimic. Yeah. Yeah, that's another thing. Um, it's easy to forget to talk to Doris in the first place, and then you've got to go back and talk to her, get the wand, and then go do it. Luckily, this time I actually did that. Let me check the stream real quick, make sure everything's going good. Well, <clears throat> I've done that several times when I did that quest since I don't run it very often. Um, I forgot to talk to Doris up front, and then, yeah. Not fun. Okay, what's the next part of this quest chain then? This guy over here? Looks like it. No, it's attack and storm range. What? This guy. Okay, that's the next one. So let's just down. Uh, yeah, actually, here, let's do this. Um, actually, the 12 is the easier one to do. Falls over here. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is invite to ship. Did that work? You should be able to, there we go. So the way the airships work now, you can click this thing in here in the center of this amenity bar. And instant four hour buffs. which should give you some extra stuff. And then come this way. Yeah, there's a lot. To this door here. And hit first lower deck.
and come over this way. When you can move, I know it takes a minute to load all the airship stuff. And this person is where you repair. Repair all your stuff at this one because it's expert. Um, yeah, you have to be careful about your targeting because there's training dummies right next to them. I don't know why they did that. It's kind of annoying, but yeah. Do all your repairs there and then come over this way. And this is where I'll show off that thing I was talking about earlier with three, three finger thads. Um, here's where you can vendor stuff at thad here. So we're going to do that first. Uh, yeah, I don't need that. Don't need that. No, no. No, no. Oh, gems. And. Oh, yeah, I can help you with that too. Yeah, you can. Yeah, this is a great place to sell stuff. Um, go ahead and do that, and then I'll show off what I was trying to show off earlier. Let me make sure I don't sell that off. Okay. What's my haggle on here? My haggle on here is 58 at the moment. All right, so what I was talking about is this clothing pawn here, right next to Thad. Uh, no luck this time. So this is just a bunch of low-level stuff that's random each time. If you're done vendoring, step out and then just wait there. Um, there's also a cross here. There's an auction house, a banker, and a mailbox. If you need any of that, it's right here. In fact, it looks like I need a mailbox. Hey, free DDO store points for me. How about that? 1300 favor. Cool. So there's that stuff here. But yeah, step out of there a minute. I'll, I'll be right back. I need to turn the uh, hook points on. So you see, um, I have the hook points. And then if I come back here, and let me where I can see this, I'm going to place this Arcane Sanctum instead. Let it load, and then I'm going to replace three finger thads. Hey, Lemdel, how's it going? And come back to this pawn vendor, clothing pawn vendor here. And you look, and in theory, it's a different selection unless they fixed it. They may have fixed it because it looks like the same stuff. So let me try loading the guild storage. So I'll load the guild storage, and then I'll come back and place the Arcane Sanctum, and then I'll come back and I'll place the Three Finger Thads. The other way to do it is just check every time you log on, and then every time you come back from a quest, just check it, and eventually you'll get it that way. But let's see. That, yeah, that's a little bit different. There's, there's a clicky. There's a touch of it to see clicky there on those boots if you want that. That's not one of the more handy ones. I, I really don't want that, but um, that just goes, that's just what I'm trying to show you is there's random clickies on this stuff. And all you have to do is replace the amenities and it just it's random when it gets placed. And you can eventually, if you do this enough, you'll get like a exhibitor's retreat clicky and a shield clicky and a remove fear clicky and all that. Nope, nothing there again. So it can take a little while, but it's also really not a big deal to just sit here and do this for a little bit. I don't necessarily want to do it on stream right now very long, but just to show off a little bit until you maybe get something. Nope. Glaciation mask. Striding. Charismatic. Nope. Nothing good there. Um, the other one, things aren't working as planned as I understand it. They're supposed to be uh, have stuff as well, but they haven't yet. 
So, yeah, there's that. But anyway, this is how you would do that if you were interested in. Oh, I, that's what happened. I didn't re-equip my weapons. Uh, you can only do it if you're an officer of a guild with a ship that has that amenity. So keep that in mind. You can't just do it on your own. But, uh, yeah, it's a way to get, if you want those low-level clickies, just you know for utility stuff that's handy. And, yeah, it's not happening at the moment. But, anyway, that's how you do that. Um, for reference, I need to re-equip this. That would help. So this is new to this character. I got a Turbulent Epe, which is really handy. I'm excited to have it. Um, anything else we need to do before we can go? Go uh, thing. What are we doing? How do you... It's invite to a group. How do you invite somebody? I'll give them over to your party. Send it. Ah, here we go. That's how you do it. So you target the player, which I have to turn around for probably, and say add. Yes. There. All right. So you're ready to continue the chain? Or is there anything else we need to do up here? Oh, yeah. You wanted to see the crafting stuff. Sorry. So let's go over here to the, uh, oh, let me turn the hook points off because it's annoying to me to have those on all the time. Um, over here to the teleporter on this side of the ship. And let's choose house C probably. I don't know where that puts us. Yeah, it puts us the teleporter there. We'll go to house C. And right across from the teleporter on the same level in house C is the uh, crafting hall. I don't know your target numbers. Um, Skunk or them might know better on target numbers for AC and saves as a tank. So if you haven't done this whole intro quest, you should do it talk to him and follow his directions. He introduces you to the basics of crafting and how all that stuff works. Basically, either side is the same. You go into one side or the other. And this is the deconstruction machine where you have a couple options. Um, I, we just got rid of all our junk, so I don't really have anything. But um, you put your stuff in there, and then you use something from the vendor over here. And you say purchase these construction materials and there's the dust of disjunction which disjuncts an item basically resets it strips everything off of it uh, the liquid knife if you want to remove a plus two enhancement bonus you can strip that off with a liquid knife potion um, you really want plus fives of course the ultimate removers it's take it's dis dissolve the suffix effects. The leaning dissolvers dissolve the prefix effects. And uh, all that's used in that uh, deconstruction machine. And then the other machines are for crafting the various shards and such. And they try to give you a description above there on the thing. If you're just trying to get the essences, you want to get the prefix and suffix, the uh, leading remover and ultimate dissolver, whatever they're called. You want those two, the prefix and suffix ones. Um, you have the green and yellow ones, the ultimate removers and leading dissolvers. You want to get a bunch of those because you're going to be using a lot of those. And then all of your Um, Non-named item, it has to be random loot gen items you put in here. Um, weapons and armor and all that stuff. But it has to be stuff that has prefixes and suffixes. It can't just be like a plus five something. Uh, 
Oh, another thing that transfers when you are deconstructing things to your new crafted item is the material type. So if you find something that's a silver or a cold iron or adamantine or one of those, and that's what you want on the item you're creating, particularly in weapons for DR breaking, um, keep that in mind too. So if you sometimes it's worth it to save a junk silver or cold iron or whatever that you get just to do that. So, yeah. Um, we're going to be getting a lot more stuff. You know, keep questing, get more stuff. But uh, if you really want to st stock up your items, that's what you do there um, for that. So yeah, that's a bit about crafting. Um, I like going to this side of the hall because the bank. The other side has the auction house. This side has the bank, and I find myself using the bank a lot. So actually, when I'm doing crafting stuff, I usually keep my character here, right by the bank. I log off log on here and then I use the shared bank to transfer items from my other characters here and then just run over deconstruct them and then come back and log off uh, right here so yeah I don't know what else to say about crafting and how it works but that's the basics um, as you deconstruct you'll get stuff um, essences to use for um, things and stuff Uh, I don't know if deconstruction level is crafting anymore. No, I know it did for a while, and then I thought it stopped it. So I don't recall what the current state is.